How soon do STD symptoms appear? So this really is going to depend on the person, their immune system, and the type of virus that they, they may or may not have. So for instance, your viral infections like HIV, herpes, syphilis, hepatitis, those are going to start to affect your immune system first. And a lot of times these symptoms won't come to surface maybe years, maybe decades, depending on the person. Um, bacterial infections like chlamydia, gonorrhea, trichomoniasis, um, those symptoms Symptoms typically come fairly quickly. For some, it could be years. For others, it could be days after exposure, maybe 24 hours. Um, so it really, again, does depend on the type of uh, STD we're talking about and then the person and their immune system. It's a good follow-up question on that. Can I have an STD and not see any symptoms? Absolutely. A lot of people, for example, have herpes and they may have herpes for one year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, and they only find out that they have herpes because they've done a basic screening. Maybe they've start, started seeing a new partner and the partner said, you know what, let's do the right thing and start getting tested. You get tested, I get tested, we can share the results so we don't have to use protection because who really wants to do that? I get it, I hear the calls. But once they see that uh, those test results, they say, oh my gosh, how did I test positive for herpes? It's just one of the examples of something that can be asymptomatic. And it's because that person came in contact with someone who was having an outbreak and in turn they have the virus and they've been carrying the virus and their body hasn't shown the symptoms. So absolutely, symptoms or no symptoms, you need to get tested. Should I get tested if I don't see or feel symptoms? Uh, yes, absolutely. Since most people aren't going to show symptoms, it's definitely important to get a test done uh, between every partner.